Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft, and as you just saw, the hole is now complete. Okay, that's a horrible sound. Um, as you saw, the hole is complete. I haven't decided what I'll put there yet, so I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, but what I do know is that I would like to work on this today. Now, I jerked it out real quick, and it does appear to be working, so that's good. Um, so what I need to do now is have a collection system, so I've got all of my redstone stuff here with me and I'm gonna gonna need to have a better killing chamber here because this doesn't really work I just get pushed out and I don't want that and I need a good collection system over here as well so I'm I'm gonna have an auto sorter and everything um, I only have enough to make five sorters so hopefully that'll be good enough um, we can just have an overflow for like fish and stuff which doesn't get sorted so yeah, um, first thing I'm going to do here is dig underneath this, um, oh no, okay, uh, yeah, so I'm going to dig underneath these tables and I'm going to see how big it is first of all, um, I think it's one more block this way, right, yeah, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have hoppers running underneath here, okay, and then we'll need to have access over here, so I'll dig this over here. And that does not work. Okay, so this is probably what I was trying to do. So, items go in, they come out. Very easy. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have a bubble stream. I, I forgot to bring stuff for that. So, that's that's fine, that's fine though. Alright, so I've got the entire sorting system complete now. Uh, it should all work. Uh, we can try it out. So, what I'm going to do is just going to kill a few here. Okay, and everything should go into the place where it should go. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, so we should have. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, the sorters here aren't full yet, so that's fine. But it looks like. Stuff's going into the right place. Uh, raw cod is fine to go there. Cooked cod is fine to go everywhere else. Um, because we're using fire on our sword, we're going to get cooked cod a lot more than raw cod. Um, I will be making a different sword for this because I'm pretty sure this isn't the best that we can be using for it. And I'll probably also set up a full beacon with strength 2. and Or just strength 1 and regen maybe, I don't know. Okay, let's see, do we get anything now? Okay, we've got the shards going in here. Uh, nothing will go in here for now. Um, and then we should get crystals coming in here soon as well. Uh, should be on 41. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so that's all good. Um, I'm going to work on making this place look nice and I'm going to make this killing area more functional. And then I'll put back. All right, so I just spent quite a little while there, lighting up all the caves, and oh boy, that's made a huge difference. So we can now pretty much just stand here hitting them constantly and we'll get new guardians coming in. They spawn fast enough now. Uh, there's still a few places that I missed, but for now I'm happy enough with the speed. Um, I've actually had some issues with my item filters because there's so many items coming in that they just can't flow out fast enough, I guess. And I, I think I resolved the issue now, but what I had was the item filter got filled up, and because I had, uh, let's imagine this is the hopper, I had stone something like this, and then items here. When this reached a full stack, it made a signal that was greater than, um, greater than three redstone, and it activated the other filters, and then those just emptied out, and this isn't looking good. 
I think that was just a fluke from last time when I was resetting them. So I think it's all fixed now. And we're getting a lot of loot here, that's good. Getting lots of XP. Um, getting lots of fish as well. And yeah, um, the reason I worked on this today is because I, I want to work more on my all items project. And I don't remember it... it I don't remember if I really showed much of it, but there was going to be quite a lot of Prismarine in it. So I figured that we should probably fix up our Guardian farm, which I did. And yeah, uh, let's go check out the other project. Alright, here we are. So as you can see, this does take a lot of Prismarine and the blocks alike. Uh, we haven't settled for proper design, but I, I like this side of the wall more than I like this side, so we're going to go with this wall design, and I'm not quite sure what we're going to do for the floor. I think we're going to have these normal prismarine blocks underneath some light blue glass, maybe, because then there'll be nice glass to walk on here, and you'll be able to see the light change, the color change here, and I'm not sure what to do with the intersections here. Maybe... We'll find a way, but maybe maybe we'll we'll change it up from quartz to something else. Um, but as you can see, we're also going to need a lot of quartz for this. And that's why I've just spent a long, long time AFK at my gold farm. And that's why I have so many levels, as you can see. Um, that um, We're going we're gonna to use that gold pretty quickly here to make a bartering farm. And then we're going to try get a whole bunch of quartz from there. So yeah, we have quite a lot of gold here stored up, and we have a couple of chestfuls, three chestfuls of gold nuggets. That's really good as well. Um, so yeah, that that should that should make enough quartz to last a while. But I don't I don't think this will be anywhere near enough for the quartz that we actually need. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna set up a little piglin bartering system somewhere around the Nether. I I'm thinking thinking down here. I'm thinking like right over here in another hub, like somewhere over here in the main room. So maybe like in in one of the walls here, and then in the other wall we can have something else. Um, I was thinking maybe a fully automatic basalt maker, so that would be really nice as well. Um, so yeah, that would be that would make this room have a purpose other than have the Nether portal. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's start digging in here a little bit. I really don't want to work much more in the nether. I've spent way too long in the last few episodes working here. Um, ooh, some quartz. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a room over here for the piglin bartering. I'm thinking I'm going to have maybe 10 to, 10 to 16. Maybe maybe 16 in total. And just have them barter. That, that would make like a stack of ingots go pretty fast. I think they barter for like 4 or 5 seconds. So a stack would be done in about 20 seconds. So that's pretty fast actually, yeah. Um, yeah, let's go do it. Alright, so, after quite a bit of work, it only took a few hours, uh, I got all the piglin, piglins in here, uh, there's eight of them in total, uh, I still need to decorate this room of course and cover up all the redstone and stuff like that, but quite an elegant system considering that's how I basically fully designed this in survival without having ever built one of these before, but yeah, so we have an input chest over here, we just put our gold in there, let's do four stacks for example. So we just do that. A hopper minecart underneath picks up the gold. Uh, you can send it off like right away, basically. Um, it doesn't take long for this to empty at all. Uh, of course, the hopper minecart can only hold so many stacks, but... Alright, that's done. That's four stacks in there, and off it goes. Uh, so what we have is the minecart goes over the top there, and then there's a hopper clock that is just slightly longer than six seconds, and it will dispense the gold ingots every every about six and a half seconds, seven maybe, as you just see. Uh, what happens then is uh, we have these hoppers here picking up all the items and then going to this dropper belt. Uh, as you can see, it goes very fast. And then all of this, all of these droppers, they carry on over to here. And over here, because 
I, I should have designed a double speed hopper uh, sorting system, but instead I only have a single speed, and so we just basically have, well, a lot of stuff backing up here for now. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, we can survive with this, I think. Uh, by the looks of things, um, these items, they don't pop out the uh, dro droppers, so it's fine if they're back up a little bit. There's going to be quite a few stacks of space in total for it to back up into. And then, yeah, everything gets sorted here along this hopper line. And then anything that doesn't get sorted goes straight over here. Uh, so we've got boots, potions, and water bottles. Uh, those are unsortable items and non-stackable items, of course, and everything else gets sorted. So we have blackstone here, which we're going to be using quite a bit of. We've got spectral arrows here, which we'll never use. Um, got obsidian here, and then uh, you can just see fire charges. Quartz, we've got quartz here, which which is the main reason we built this farm for, because we need a lot of quartz. Soul sand, iron nuggets, leather, gravel, I uh, don't remember what this is, crying obsidian, then... Red nether bricks, and then this, I believe, is string, and this is ender pearls. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to leave this running for a little bit, and I'm going to pretty this room up, and then I'm going to pretty up the guardian room as well, and then there'll be two projects done today. Alright, so this is pretty much complete. I'm not entirely happy with these color choices. It's basically all just blackstone and the nether brick doesn't really fit in too well. It's a different color altogether, but whatever. Uh, I don't think I'll be coming here too, too often, and if I am, then I'll probably just be AFK here for a period of time it takes for them to do all the bartering. For now, I still got a little bit to go here, so I'm just gonna wait for them all to finish, and then I'm gonna go work on the Guardian farm. Yes, everything is being sorted now. I've got pretty much everything complete here, so that's all good. See you in a bit. Alright, so this is all complete now as well. Got some rubbish lying around here, but other than that, it's all complete. This will just spawn in like, I don't know, a few minutes now. Um, so yeah, we've got some drafting tables in the middle here. Got some kind of pattern here, I don't know. I, I played around with it a little bit. Um, got lighting everywhere, so no torches. And then over here, actually, I, I kind of need to put some more lighting here, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, the light level stays above eight there so it's fine um so got everything being sorted here automatically uh sometimes a few things get skipped by accident that's fine uh no big issue and yeah that's pretty much it for this area as well i put i moved the nether portal up from down uh, i moved the nether portal from up above there down to here and i i haven't tested it but it should take us right back to where we started or where it should take us yep that's all good we got a bat through here that's cool and then this should take us down there as well perfect so yeah this this is all great it works wonderfully and yeah now I just need to AFK here for a little bit and get a whole bunch of stuff so we can do the all items project uh, which I'm thinking I'll start like proper work on in the next episode so and now I'm just gonna be over here getting some XP, repairing my tools, and getting loads and loads of Prismarine and the Prismarine shards. Or crystals, whatever, because we're gonna need a lot. Yeah, that's probably gonna be about it for today's episode, so 
thank you all for watching and hope you had hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe if you want to see more and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss anything out thank you for watching have a good day bye bye